artist, we have a young man in the crowd right now that's going to come up and play the flute for us. Would you help me welcome Mr. Presley Byington? Stand a little taller than I do. Uh, I, was, I was just going to say something just a little bit before we get going here. If you notice some of the dances that they were doing here, everything goes with the sound of the voice. They know when to change. And that mosquito dance, I had to listen real good. Maybe I'm getting a little bit older. But everything happens by the rise and the fall of the voice. And the chanter is the one who controls of what takes place there. If y'all did have the time to take the time to notice that. And to uh, tell y'all a little bit about the Choctaw dancing. In the state of Oklahoma, we didn't have it until the late 60s and early 70s. And I just so happened to be one of those children that helped to bring Choctaw dancing to the state of Oklahoma. And to tell you a little bit about what we went through to get it to where it is today. Whenever we would go to Bookchito in the Bookchito district of Mississippi on the Choctaw Reservation, we happened to be there. To, the nearest town was Philadelphia. And we went in there on, I believe it was either a Thursday or a Friday. And the people in the town there asked us, said, what are y'all doing here? What do, you, what, do you, what do you want? So, well, so we come in to get supplies and we come in to wash our clothes. They said, uh, are you Choctaw? I said, yeah. I said, well, then you must not be from here then, are you? We said, no. I said, well, then said, Choctaws aren't allowed in town except on Saturdays to come, come do their laundry and get their supplies. So, you know, in order for us to get that to the state of Oklahoma to where it is and where it is now, we went through a lots of, lots of stuff in order to learn and to get it back to the state of Oklahoma to get it to where it is now. Because like I say, you know, some of the descendants of ex-slaves that lived in that area were treated better than what the Choctaws were. So see, just that, you know, I'm, I'm more of a history buff than I am anything, so that there's why I like to kind of let you guys know about, you know, where we come from and how, how things happened. But um, as far as this flute here goes, this here is what we call a six holes plains flute. We adapted this here whenever we made it to the state of Oklahoma. And uh, Choctaws had a flute. I've got one back there, but it only had two holes in it, and they were used primarily by the old healers and the holy men. Nowadays, they call them, what, shamans and, and, and medicine men and things like that. We didn't call them that. We called them healers because that's what they did. They healed. So, but anyway, like I was saying, this one here is one of them that we adapted once we got to the state of Oklahoma. Now, we're going to see what we can get out of this thing.
Thank you.